Good morning, Kids Jam. I'm Miss Nicole, and today we are go going to talk about a very special event that took place in the Bible. We are looking at what happened when Jesus ascended into heaven. Have you ever heard the word ascend? It means something goes up, like an elevator or a person going upstairs. In our lesson today, we are looking at the last time Jesus was on earth. We've been talking about how he showed up to his disciples a few times after his resurrection and spoke with them about things or gave them encouraging words. Well, he had one final special meeting with them. Let's watch this video. It was time for Jesus to go to heaven. He led his disciples to the top of a mountain near Jerusalem. Here's what I want you to do, he said. Wait in Jerusalem until you receive the promised Holy Spirit. Then tell everyone about me. Go from Jerusalem to Judea to Samaria and then to the rest of the world. Make many disciples. Baptize them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Teach them everything you learned from me. I will always be with you. When he had said this, Jesus rose into the sky. Up he went until he disappeared into a cloud. His disciples watched him. They stood there, staring into the sky. Two men dressed in white appeared. Jesus has gone to heaven, they explained. He will come back in the same way. So the disciples obeyed Jesus and went to Jerusalem. Jesus took his disciples out of the town a little ways, and he reminded them again of who he was and how he suffered and died to fulfill the prophecies. He told his friends that he was going to send them an exciting present, and they should wait for that present to get an amazing sort of power. Then he gave them a blessing, and then do you know what happened? Well, have you ever had a balloon, the kind with helium, and let it go? What happens? It just floats all the way up into the sky, right? Well, that's what happened to Jesus. He floated up, ascended into the sky, but he didn't come back down. The disciples were left open-mouthed, staring into the sky and wondering when he would return. Then angels let them know that Jesus would be coming back though they didn't realize it would take such a long time. In the meantime, the disciples were excited about what Jesus had said. They went to Jerusalem and hung out in the church, giving praise to God and telling people about what they had seen. They were all stirred up with energy and excitement. How do you think you might have felt if you saw Jesus go up into the clouds like that? It might have been shocking or confusing or exciting. One thing we can know is that we should be eager to share God's love and good news with one another. And do you want to know something else? This story is about, about ascending has a sequel. Jesus told the disciples to wait for a special power that would be sent, remember? Do you want to know how that power came? You'll have to stay tuned because in our next lesson, we will get to hear all about it. For now, let's say a prayer and ask God for patient hope and for enthusiasm to share his news with others. Let's pray. Dear God, thank you for who you are. Thank you for your resurrection joy. Help us to be excited about your story so we can share the good news with others. Thank you for your love. Thank you for Jesus. In his name, amen. That's it for Kids Jam today. Have a great week. Bye.